My mom is so angry at me. It's crazy right now. It's crazy. It's scary in this house. Very scary. Um, do you want to tell them what happened, mommy? She looks, oh wow, this face is very, very interesting. Why would you get more furniture? Why? What is wrong with you? I get this message that there's furniture on the front porch. I, in, the, in the garage? She might have to throw it out. I don't think there's room in the garage. I really you like gotta it. You got to stop. I got it on But there's no place to put it. Where are you going to put it? I'm Do you gonna, have an idea where you're going to put I'm it? I'm bringing it to California. Where? Where? Oh, you're going to bring that to California? Yes. Where? On the plane? Yeah, no, in, in the car. I'm going to drive. I've decided. I'm going to take a road trip and I'm going to bring my well, furniture. You need, a truck. You, got a now, you, you need more than a... You need a, a, a moving van. Lord, I don't know what, what is wrong with you. Michael you offered got, to pick it up for uh, me. Uh, so it's don't Michael's blame, fault. No, don't blame Michael. Why are you looking uh, for furniture? Where did you find this? I found it on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, but why would you look on Facebook Marketplace when we have enough stuff? I can't even... It was just suggested for me. I wasn't looking and it just popped up and I thought, oh my God, guys, you got to see what I bought. I got on Facebook Marketplace, okay? It just came to me, suggested on Facebook, and my mom is not happy right now. She doesn't want me to put it in the house. Um, hi, Abdullah. So look, I'll show you what it is. How do I turn this around? What do you think, guys? How cute is this chair? And it has birds. I love cardinals on it. Like, it's so cute. I don't know. I just couldn't let it go. I just couldn't let it go. That's... Oh, so anyway, guys. So what do you think? What do you think? Mom, what you think, but don't you think it's pretty? Not really. I don't want anybody else's stuff. I don't know. This is COVID, number one. But can I bring it in the, the house? No. Why can't I bring not. it in the house? What if it has bed bugs or it something? It doesn't. I'm going to clean it. No, you can't clean it. There could be ants in the wood. That you don't know where it's been. Why? You. Because it's somebody, you don't even, random person, you don't even know who owned it. It was on Facebook Marketplace. So what? So I can't bring it in the house? It is not coming in the house. Absolutely so not. So where are we going to do with it? Lauren, I don't know. It's freezing. I don't even know how you're going to clean it right now. Yeah. I don't know. Do you think I, can, you think I can wash it? You have so many other things you have to do besides bring in this furniture. Don't you? What? I'm going to hire a truck now that goes to California with all the stuff you bought. It's going to cost you about $2,000 to move stuff that you paid $50. Abdullah thinks it's beautiful. Well, then I'm going to oh, give it to him. Ship it to him. It's going to be expensive to ship that to Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah, that's good. It's worth it. That's worth it. Oh, boy, guys. If not in the house, the patio or the backyard, they said. It could go in the patio, right? No, it's wood. It's so cute. What year do you think it's from, Mom? I don't know. It looks like it's like, you know. No, it looks 70s. Here, Ash, everyone's asking to see what it is. Hi, Tina. Tina, let me know what you think. Isn't this so cute? My mom doesn't want me to bring it in the house. She's really angry at me. I got it on Facebook Marketplace, and my friend dropped it off this morning. I was so excited. It's like a little chair in vanity. Look at the cardinal. Mom, I thought you would like it because the cardinal on it. We could put it in your bedroom. It would look great in your bedroom. Her face. Her face. <laughs> My mom's face is like. Why are you attracted to yellow? Everything you. you that you is see, funny. You see I, something yellow and you got to buy it? Yeah. I do. I didn't realize that, but I do like yellow. Maybe it's good for my house in California, no? I like buying and finding stuff online. It's really fun. You're in New York. I know, but I can drive it. California is 3,000 miles away. I know, but I, I'm just thinking about my house. I miss it so much. I bought some furniture, and my mom is not very happy with me. She called me screaming, and she is very upset. Why are you upset, Mommy? Because we're trying to get rid of things, not collect. we got to downsize. Uh, but it's really cute, no? Don't you think it's cute? I don't care. I don't care if it's beautiful. There's no place to put it. See, Manzo said, very beautiful, dear. Tina said, it's pretty. Do you really need it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess... 
I guess, I don't know. We could ask Mike to take it back, but I think he's going to be annoyed. No, don't, you don't bother him. Abdullah said, your mom is right. It needs to be cleaned very good. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So they're upset. What are we going to do, mom? You want to do something in the kitchen together? That looks very nice. You have good taste. That's what Gary told me. See, I have good taste, mom. Somebody yeah, well, else said, sorry, yeah. mama. Okay. Do you want to build a house in the back? We'll build you a little, uh, house Lauren house. Room, that sounds little, so cute. We'll build you a little uh, bedroom in the backyard and you can <laughs> store all your uh, treasures in my treasures. Have fun. Hi, people. Welcome. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for seeing my mom. Oh, Tina said she doesn't want it. <laughs> she cares for you so much. Yes, she does care for me. My mom cares for me so much. What's up, Mackenzie? Good to see you. I made mushrooms. You made mushrooms. Yay, mushrooms. Um, all right, guys. We are just hanging out with my mom. I have been quarantining. If you're new to my live stream, I have been quarantining with my parents now for... Feel what feels like the past five years, but uh, <laughs> since the beginning of the pandemic. And I was here before because my dog was sick. So I normally live in California. Sometimes I get people commenting, why do you still live with your parents? And I just choose to be with my parents. Um, I have a beautiful house in California. I'm trying to get them to move to. That would be great. Can you move to my house, please? It's so cold here in New York, I and there's it. no room in this I house. I love it. George and I had a great walk. He wanted to stay up longer. In the cold? Yeah. He did not want to come home. Guys, where do you all live? Tell me where you all live. I want to know where everyone lives. Hi. Just hanging out with my mom right now, and we're dealing with the drama of the furniture I just bought on Facebook Marketplace. Oh, okay, Tina. I love you. Thank you. Shout out to everybody watching here. My mom looks really upset right now. Send my mom some love, guys, so I can buy more furniture. <laughs> I just, when, I, when she got so angry, I was like, Mom, can you save that anger for my Facebook Live when I come home so everyone can see how you feel about my new furniture that I really like? It's so cute. Hello, Ramez. How are you? Hey, uh, Azan. How are you? Mahakita. <laughs> What's up to so everyone in the Philippines? Can we go to the Philippines? I really wish I could go to the Philippines right now. Mississippi, nice. Gabriel's in New York. Which part of New York, Gabriel? Uh, New Jersey, which part of New Jersey? I love New Jersey. Um, oh, I, I might go visit uh, our cousin, my cousin Francesca this weekend. Very excited. Oh. Yeah, very excited about that. Um, hello, how are you all doing? What are you all doing? Can you share? Upstate New York, hi. Hello, upstate New York. What's up? So guys, what did you think of my furniture? Does anyone want it? Does anyone want my furniture? Good night. Should we clean it now? What should I do with it? We, or you wanna just throw it in the garage? <laughs> oh boy. I don't know what happened. It was like an impulse buy. I saw it and I was like, let's do it. Is that what you were doing when I was trying to enjoy breakfast with you? No, I got it already. I, I already got, I got it yesterday. <laughs> that, that's what I was doing when Michael was here. I was like, oh, a table and chairs and it's near where Michael's driving. Like he should just pick it up for me. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Texas? How are you? Nice Middletown. Hey, I don't think, I don't like him for his coy, my for his heart. Daniel, what does this mean? Who do not like? You don't like my furniture? We chilling in Queens, New York. What's up, fellow Queens people? Where are you going, Mom? I gotta find some glass. You're not allowed to leave. You're on the live stream right now. Clean it and keep it. Thank you, Paul. I agree. I just wish I could bring everything to California somehow. Does anyone want to help? Anyone want to help bring all my treasures that I bought? Which, I should just buy things in LA, but I'm not in LA, and I'm just thinking of my house that has no furniture in it, thinking, like, I need furniture. So, that's kind of my way of doing things I don't know hello good morning good evening welcome I'm here shoveling snow in Maine oh my goodness it's snowing in Maine mom my mom oh, wants to go of Maine? what part of Maine are you in you very nice thank you thank you hi dear thank you guys we are just here my surgery did heal a little scar there <laughs> I like you baby thank you I think I mean it's interesting how people like some people and don't like other people it's very interesting people's tastes I find that super interesting he he dance dance 
I'm glad that you picked out some furniture that you liked. Thank you. Hi from Iraq. What's up, Iraq? How are you? Hello. Beautiful baby. Thank you. I have makeup all over my face right now, so please don't judge <laughs> judge my sleepiness. I have not showered or gotten ready to shoot yet. I just decided to jump on because I thought my mom was so funny on how she, what she wanted. I am messy, Carolina. I do have to work and focus on cleaning my room. Maybe that's what we'll do right now. I'm gonna clean my room with them, Mom. How do you feel about that? That's great. And I'm gonna make space for my <laughs> okay. new chair. Throw, throw everything out. What do you mean throw everything out? All so my you have clothes? Space. No, so you have space. Okay. Whatever you don't want. Whatever's been sitting there for years that you're not gonna wear. Oh boy. I mean, I do wear a lot. I'll help you move. Thank you. We're getting we're getting offers for to help me move. Um, yes, guys. I am interest. That's amazing. You look lovely, just like your sweet mama. <laughs> mama, you look lovely. Thank you. Do you want to clean out the attic together? We could do that on live stream. Uh, no, no, no. Why no, not? No, no, no. I'm not ready. I'm not. Into You're not ready right for now. that. No, no. No. What's gotta, up, Florida? Shout to, out to Florida. I have to teach for three hours. I don't want to. Oh, when are you get, teaching? Get exhausted in the afternoon. Oh, hello, dear. How are you? We're good. We're good. I am interest. I'm trying to figure out what to do with this new furniture that I have in front of my doorstep. I'm not sure what to do with it. Um, thank you, Abdullah. You're always saying that. And there is my dog. He is so handsome. The most handsome dog. I know, Carolina. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's like, it's like breaking. It's like ending friendships, you know? throwing all your stuff out it's like we're no longer friends anymore goodbye <laughs> i actually reconnected with a friend that i said goodbye to last week it's very interesting she came into my life again unexpectedly i have been donating clothes that i do not wear i will say that one person's trash is another person's treasure it's just that i have a lot like i have a lot of costumes from performances so like my house is like Really 90% costumes everywhere. So that's the problem. And they're expensive costumes from ballet, dance, performances. I also have a ton of books, like an annoying amount of books. Because my dad has a dance and drama school. And all the acting books came. Uh, they're, they're cleaning everything out just to see what they're doing after COVID. So all the acting books somehow ended up in my room. Like my room is the, is the garbage pan for like everyone's stuff. What kind of furniture? Oh my God. Anushka, you will love it. Let me show you. Let me show you the furniture. I'm going to go downstairs out of my bedroom and show you the furniture. Furniture at the doorstep. Are you serious about that? Well, I don't know where to put it now. All right, so I found it on Facebook. For those of you tuning in, <laughs> I have these weird like Facebook marketplace will be open and Facebook marketplace is so it, it's interesting because I won't even mention the things that I like. Oh, I'll talk about it with my mother and then the then the phone hears it. Right. And it suggests it like I didn't even type it in and it suggests things and it just knows my taste. It's so weird. Algorithms are so weird and I struggle to understand them every single day. So look how cute this is. It actually kind of would look so nice in my in my bedroom in California, but I do have to clean it up a lot and maybe like redo it and make it nice. It will go in your room. Yes, I really want it to go in my room, but once again, I live in California. So, so these things, and this is the most handsome man in the world. Oh my goodness, how cute are you? Are you the most handsome dog? Oh, you're such a good boy. What, Daddy? I have 400 people watching me. Leave? Oh, he's telling me to go. He's saying, leave. I'm watching the news, Lauren. Get out. <laughs> he said, take the set and go sit outside with it. Michael said she made me get it. No, I told my mother. Oh, my God. See, Aniska, Aniska loves it. Aren't they, like, so cute for 20 bucks? I was like, I'm getting it. It's a chair, and it's, like, a little ottoman. And it has, like, a red cardinal on it and, I think, a blue jay. And I just love birds. I don't know, like, if you know about my bird obsession. But I used to have a pet bird. And um, I just love birds. So I was so excited. <laughs> Put it in the backyard if you want. You can stream outside. It is cold back there. 
it is so, so cold outside. It is a really winter day. All right. I feel like I keep de like blocking this man and he keeps coming back. I like keep blocking this man. <laughs> it's like, are you going to restore those chairs? I want to, I want to keep the fabric. How do you think I should restore it? Anuska. And this is the, this is the silly thing. Cause I have other furniture in the garage that I have to restore. Remember we got that yellow set on Facebook, which is actually a free one. This was 20 bucks, but I was like 20 bucks. My dad was so mad. He was like, you didn't get it for free. He's like, what the hell you want this junk for? But I like it. I liked it. I feel like it's an energy exchange. Is there room for anger on the 12th day of Christmas? Is it the 12th day? It has flowers and pretty birds, right? So cute. So exciting. Um, okay. I am here in my room just trying to organize stuff again. I go through this process of organizing things and then taking stuff out of the attic and then reorganizing them. Um, oh, all right. Love you all. Hello from Australia. So good to see you. So good to see you guys. I am in my room, my childhood room, and I don't have contacts on. So if, if you see me going like this, it's because I can't read you. And um, I love you all too. Where are you from? I am from New York, Queens, New York. Um, yeah. Shout out from PH. Nice. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Um, hey, are we going to have a snowball fight? <laughs> that sounds fun. I love snowball fights. I love the winter. I love different things. Good question. Definitely keep material. If I was you, I would definitely add some color to the wood artwork to fit in the colored. Oh, that's so smart. But I see, I love the blonde wood finish and I feel like it would really go good with what I have, but I'd love to see like maybe painting it blue, like that blue color. I love the blue color. Um, but I'd love any tips or DIY things. If you want to send me any pictures, goddess of comedy at gmail.com. Give me some inspiration or my Pinterest. Um, guys, my Pinterest is like my secret diary of <laughs> all of the DIY projects that, that I do. Like everyone's like, what do you do for hobbies? Cause they're like, Lauren, you just live stream all day. And I'm like, no. Oh, actually. Hi, Brad. How are you? Hello. 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 Brad helped me film an audition last night and I have to see if I can still, the, the agent, the manager called me, Brad, I have to send in another different take. Um, not sure if you want to help me with that, but if not, I don't know. I'll just tell him I can't do it. Um, trying to get someone to help me film an audition. It's hard. It's so hard guys, but you know, it's, it's been crazy, a crazy pan pandemic. It really has. <laughs> I've learned a lot about myself and about my cleaning habits and it's just, it's an ongoing proceeds. I love, love like Lauren. Yes, I love so hard everyone. I love you all. Like, yes. <coughs> I hope I'm getting sick. <coughs> I felt like I talked for so long. I can help you finish the wood. Yay! Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. I also need to, um, I also need to, um, uh, what do you do for a living besides acting? Well, that's a very interesting thing. I do a lot of content on my Facebook page. As you see, I have 2 million followers on here. So I monetize this content. I used to do more YT stuff. That's how I started doing social media. Um, so that's kind of like my job, but I, it's like what's work when life is fun, you know? Let's do another one. The other two were, let's do another one. The other two were money. I thought so. I would go for lush. Trust me, you'll love it. I restore all the coloring of garden ornaments. Oh my God. Send me what they, what, what kind of garden ornaments, Anushka? Can you send me what that looks like? And what do you mean by lush? Like what, what tone is lush? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> that sounds so much fun. It sounds so much fun, but yeah. So, um, I have lots of hobbies which involve, which involve collecting old furniture <laughs> that I say I'm going to fix. And then I generally end up fixing a lot of it. I got the coolest old chair in my old house in LA, but I left, so I didn't have time to fix it. Come to Croatia. I would love to go to Croatia. That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. And I have to see about this audition. I should put makeup on for it. 
Oh, I should wash my face. You know, <laughs> beautiful body. Oh, thank you, Darren. Very sweet. Okay. Uh, lovely. <laughs> I love finding people who are trying to scam my followers and then blocking their asses. Like your ass just got blocked. Hi, how are you? I come from Croatia. Nice. I wish I could visit you there. I really do. But we are stuck right now in, um, I don't know what is called, what is called New York City. I'm stuck here. I feel like I'm stuck on an island. That's what it feels like being stuck on an island. This was Agnes's dress, I think. I was going to donate it. Guys, what do you think? Donate it or keep it? It's so hard. Donate or keep, guys. What do you what are thoughts or sell it? Donate, keep or sell. I kind of like it. I don't think I think I'm going to keep it. It's so hard. Sorry, I meant it would look lush adding blue to the wood. Oh, I would do all sorts of sports of garden or garden ornaments. Uh, I'll send you. Yeah, send me cuz I that's one of the things that I'm working on for my California house. And whenever I go to like <laughs> my friend I went thrift storing last weekend and my friend was just like, "What the hell are you going to do with with that, there were all these like picks in the ground with like flowers and hearts. And I was like, oh, it's for my mystical, magical looking garden in California. And I think the person that I told thought I was like insane. I'm like, you just haven't seen it yet. Like, I just love fun little accessories, like super bohemian. Oh, Dan said keep. Guys, Dan Walker Designs. It's the ring I wear all the time. I love this ring. Um, yeah, I love my ring. Silver, silver ring. I love you too, Muhammad. I love you too. You guys are great. You guys are so much fun. I'm just here organizing my stuff. I decided to come on early because I was like, all right, it's been getting late and I haven't been doing what I need to do in terms of my live streaming. I need more hangers. There's so many hangers. And I look at, I look at my dresses and I'm just like, I need to bring them to California. I'm like, these are California dresses. They're not New York dresses. Thank you guys. Indian dress. Yes. I know. I like you, baby. Thank you. That is so just wonderfully sweet. I love it. All right. More hangers. I don't know. What happened is, guys, is I came home from New York a year and a half ago after not being here for about seven years and organized all the closets, took bags of stuff out of the attic, went through my mother's old clothes and was like, oh my God, my mom has some like really amazing clothes from like the 80s that I am so excited about. So I was just like, oh my God, I have to like have these clothes. So now I'm just organizing them all just like this. So this is my problem. I should probably have been like, no, I don't want your clothes, but I mean, when you have cool clothes from other generations, you should visit. Oh my God. Yes. I actually got this dress in the, in London, Anushka at, um, am I saying your name right? I went to, when I went for George, my dog's open heart surgery after he was okay. I went to every single thrift store. It's from, uh, Primark. And I got, I think it was uh two pounds for my, th this dress. This dress was two pounds. I was like, okay, I'm totally getting this. Um, so everything in the thrift store was two pounds and oof, so I just went nuts. <laughs> um, and I really love the fashion of the clothes. Like for those of you in the UK, it's just so different than stuff that you find in California or New York. And I like to style things differently. Somebody said it doesn't snow in CA. I know it doesn't snow in CA. That's one of the things I miss about it. I miss the fact of non-snow. And you're seeing like the disgusting mess behind me. I'm working on it every day. I'll try to get your phone number. Um, I am not, I don't give out my phone number unless you want to go shopping with me. <laughs> unless we could, we could shop. I'm not interested in any romantic thing right now because I have all these weird things going on. So no romance for me. Thank you, Bob, for supporting me. Glad your dog is okay. Thank God he was okay. And after he went through surgery and it was okay, because that was like a huge thing that was like just on my, my mind, I just went shopping. I was like celebrating. I'm like two pounds. I was like, yes. You are saying I, unlike others. So I felt that I love that dress. I thought I, would, thought I wouldn't wear dresses myself. Dresses are great. I love dresses because I can wear them with leggings. I hate wearing like slacks or jeans, 
as you see, I wear sweatpants a lot just because slacks or jeans feel like really constricted. They feel so constricted. So thank you guys. Thank you. So I'm just going through some stuff. I got this. <laughs> I got this at Sundance. Did you get the procedure done yet? No. So Dan, so this is what happened. So I had got this thing. This is so weird, guys. I got this thing removed right there. Um, in right, it's like right over my heart chakra, which for me, I'm like, oh my God, is this why I'm like, I'm having all of these issues in my love life? Cause I had this cyst here and my dermatologist, who's amazing. He's like, like super cool. He's Madonna's dermatologist. So he's like a celebrity. He cut through the center of it and took it out. But when it was healing, it got infected. Um, and he did say he took the whole sack out, but for some reason it came back and it came back small. It's not as big as it was before. So I went to a plastic surgeon, um, who said, and this guy's, you can help me decide on what I should do. Cause I just, I kind of was like, whatever. Um, he was going to cut, he wanted to cut more around it and like really remove all of the, all of the stuff. And he thought, and he thought removing all of that, oh, Jenny, you're so sweet. He thought removing it all would help like get this cyst out. Like, I don't know how you guys feel about pimples and cysts, but I love them. Like, and that's part of how it came because I have this huge obsession for like picking at little pores and just getting all of the dirt out. It's kind of like a metaphor of my life, right? So I was trying to get it out and in trying to get it out, I think something inside got inflamed and formed this sebaceous cyst. And now I have this issue that is blocking my heart chakra. And I feel like, I don't know, I felt like I'm like, this is why I'm single because I have this like cyst here. So the doctor said he could cut it out, but he said it would be a bigger scar. So he cut all around it. So the scar would be probably this big. Right now the scar I have is like that big. Um, and right now you can't really see it. If I wear a low cut dress, like open kind of like Oscars looking outfit, you might be able to see it a little bit. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm like, and then I talked to this other like friend of mine who's a plastic surgeon and she's like old school and she's just like, well, Lauren, you can't guarantee anything to be better than what you have now. You just can't like they could do it and it could be work. He said, do, tr do you trust the doctor? Get it done and don't play with it. And that's what my my friend, uh, so, I, so my plastic surgeon, my, my plastic surgeon friend told me, you can't guarantee the outcome. And then I talked to my friend's girlfriend, who's a dermatology resident, amazing, amazing girl. Her, her brand is called Sisters Skincare. I'm going to do some lives with her. And I sent her the video of it. And I told her, all roads leading back to the cyst, right, Stephen? So I told her about what was going on and how it was embarrassing me and how I, like, hated it. And she was just like, well, you need to take it out then. So... I don't know. I'm going to see her in a few weeks for a shoot. I'm doing a branded shoot. Yeah, I booked a modeling job, guys. So exciting. I don't really talk about the modeling jobs I booked because they're not acting jobs. But I hope to God I get some more acting jobs. God made you perfect in his own way. Yes, he gave me a big pimple. He gave, God gave me this huge pimple. It's okay, God. I love you. I love you. Um, But yeah. Okay, give me your cell number. You're so silly. I told you guys. What's the topic? Scar removal reduction? I don't know, Stephen. There is no topic. Stephen took the, the photo on my Instagram today. Guys, if you want to see one of uh, my amazing uh, beachy photos. Stephen, are you in California? Because um, I have a friend who is looking for a photographer. In exchange, she's going to do an Akash one of her Akashic Records readings, which is like so like normally it's like $500. She's like amazing. She works with like a ton of celebrities and she needs like a sexy photo shoot. So I like, I thought of you first, but I think you're in Texas still. Let me know. I can intro you, but somebody said, don't pick at it, girl. Infection is dangerous. I know guys, but like, this is me. I have like this, like, especially when I'm like stressed, I'm like obsession. I'm like, okay, okay. And then like people look at me and I'm like going like this, I'm, like, what are you doing, Lauren? Oh, God. Congratulations, Lauren. I know. Congratulations, Lauren, for being so imperfect. <laughs> Dude, she's joking. She's never going to give you her number. Thank you, Abdullah, for knowing my sense of humor. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're hot enough to be on TV. That is really sweet. Thank you. Hopefully, I book the TV show I just auditioned for. Guys, I'd like to take a moment of silence where you all pray that I book 
the last audition that I did. Can you all give me some prayers? Give me some prayers out there. Pray that I book this awesome. Oh God, that was weird. Did you just see that? That was so weird. Oh my God. Guys, like something fell off of my cabinet. I don't know how. I was, we were just talking about prayers and then out of the sky or, or on top of my dresser, the jewelry box fell. That was really weird. That was so weird. Whew. Gave me some chills. You can pop pimples instead. I know. Wouldn't that be cool? That's what I wanted to do. I really, I really was interested. It was one of the things I wanted to do when I was uh, deciding to be a doctor. I really always had a passion for skin. I was like, I just want to pop pimples all day. I love it. I love it. Just, it just gives me pleasure. Like, it's weird. Like some people like feet. Some people like, you know, some people like different, you know, like boobs or butts. I like popping pimples. Like that is my obsession. <laughs> not in like, not in like a sexy way and just like a, I need to do this way. Like every single day. <laughs> Lauren's room is haunted. Yeah. I have lots of ghosts in my life. They're fun. It could be an alien. It pro honestly, it probably is an alien. I should call my friend Alan up and see. They're they're aliens and they're just waiting. They're waiting for me to end the live stream so they can abduct me. That's what this is. This isn't <laughs> this isn't a sebaceous cyst. It's a scar from the alien abduction. <laughs> oh boy. Pray to the day. Yes, Casey. Yes. You get it, Lauren. Don't worry. I do get it. I do get it. Oh, I forgot to post my, my, I'm trying so hard to, to do my quotes page on Instagram, which is like my da daily diary. And I came up with an, I found an awesome quote, but my dad got done early. So, so yeah, Dr. Pimple Popper. I love watching her videos. I could just stay and watch pimple popping videos all day long, all day long. Wishing you the best. Thank you, Abdullah. What time is it in Saudi Arabia right now? What time is it? Um, do I need more hangers? Is this really what's going on now? How do I have so much clothes? I don't understand. Oh my goodness. Dear friend, I am giving you an offer. If you marry me, I will serve you and your parents. Really, I love you and I miss you, dear. That is so sweet. That is very sweet. I am not looking for anyone to serve me and my parents. I am looking for somebody that I can love, respect, and understand uh, who has the same things as me. <laughs> Steven, I just want you to process all of that. <laughs> this is why I'm single. <laughs> yes, call him. Laugh out loud. We can't, yes, laugh like this. We would all be miserable. I know, you know, it's, it's really hard. Relationships are hard. Cleaning is hard. Life can be hard. I don't know. I'm just here. Hey, sexy baby. I like your room. Oh, boy. You really haven't seen it yet. <laughs> you haven't seen the clothes all over the floor. If you did, you would understand. Somebody said alien zits. I know. It's like maybe this is an, you know what it is? It's an alien trapped inside my body. This isn't Lauren you're seeing. I'm just a creature from another planet sucking the souls of everyone right now in this live stream. The sad thing is, is that like some people will really believe that. <laughs> <laughs> like all of a sudden the viewers are like oh my god like I'm joking I'm a comedian guys that's what I do I tell jokes right or no I hope you're rich I wish I was rich that would be really cool if I if I was super rich I actually lost about like god some I was talking to this person right and they were like you know what never mind I'm not going to talk about it but but to make a long story short <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna talk about that that's too personal I thought about it for a second and then I decided not to go there oh boy mount so mount close some more you should see my closets guys my closets and this isn't even my closet in LA this is my New York closet like what the hell how did it get this filled up it's kind of intense super intense I like got rid of half of the stuff and now it's like there's more stuff oh boy okay keep putting more stuff in my closet <sighs> hi do you know et i love that movie i actually watched it the other day oh thank you william but see women 
do not want purely physical relationships. They want relationships. Well, at least I know what I want. I want a relationship with somebody that is mental, physical, emotional, and like, I want it to, I want it to be like to the highest of places. I don't want to waste my time. I feel like I've wasted so much time with people. So that's what I'm looking for. So go on, talk about it. <laughs> no, because then you know what? I find out people watch my live streams that I don't like, you know what I mean? Like friends and stuff, like ex-boyfriends or whatever. And then I get phone calls like from their moms. And I'm just like, oh God, well, that wasn't towards you guys. Like, I didn't mean I hated your family. <sighs> that's happened before. It's crazy because it's like there's 413 people here. I mean, some some of these people watching could be my ex-boyfriend's families. You know, I'm not sure which ex, but I mean, yeah. Or future boyfriend's families. The ones I don't even have yet. You know, they could go back in history because now that it's online, it's permanent forever. And they could pull something up like, oh my God, did you know the girl you dated is like infected with aliens? And I'd be like, no, I was joking, but then they don't get it. So, so that's where I'm at guys. And I'm sorry that, sorry that, that you had to witness this with me. Lauren, just keep being yourself and the right love will follow. Thank you, Ray Rayford. Thank you, Rayford. That's what, that's what my friends that are the Reiki healers told me. I was talking to the Reiki healers today. You know, you want to. I know, I know. I have a big mouth and I like to get everything off my chest. It's really bad. Dear friend, I'm giving you an offer. Marry me. I will serve you and your parents. I'm sure my dad would really like that. My dad would be like, yes, come here, serve me. And he would be so excited that I got married because I think my parents are kind of giving hope. There's no hope for them anymore. They're like, <laughs> they're like, <laughs> but they hate every guy I date. So I don't know. It's a very Italian thing, I guess. I mean, my favorite story is the story of the guy who came over for Christmas and he parked in front of my neighbor's house and my neighbor slashed all of his tires because she was pissed that he parked in front of her house on Christmas. And I think that's really what ended our relationship, but I don't know. Do you guys have any funny relationship stories? Because I have a bunch of them. Too many of them too many bad relationship stories you need to get hired on saturday night live baby that would be fun that would be fun <laughs> yes anushka <laughs> yes definitely definitely i feel like what are some things guys let's talk about things that keep people away because i think that's so interesting like i feel like when i feel like when you're like so intense with a person it like pushes people away they're like oh my god she's so intense what else pushes people away? Um, I think like gross bodily functions, like too early in a relationship. <laughs> that, that definitely like, there's this most amazing guy, like that one of the guys I dated. Okay. So amazing. And I went over his house for like an audition tape. He helped me. And he's like, like, just like one of the most talented people I've ever met. Wealthy, like had everything going for him. And I don't know, this is going to sound, this might sound like really superficial. And this is maybe was like our first or second time hanging out. But I went to his house, he was helping me film an audition. And then he went to the bathroom and I like heard him going to the bathroom. And after that, I was done. Like I could, is that horrible guys? And I always look back and I always say to myself, like, he was really great, but that like really bothered me. It like just grossed me out so, so much. What do you guys think? Am I a horrible person? Can you touch? Can you tell me what you think of that? And like this guy always writes me and he's just like, we could have had something special and amazing. And I can't tell him like, well, you did that when we first started dating and it was too soon and it grossed me out. What do you think guys? What is your name? Lauren. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. So, so that relationship did not work out. Um, I don't know, guys. What do you think? What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that I... <laughs> do you think that I... Somebody said holidays 2020. Yes. Okay, all these interesting comments. Like, no one was listening to me. They're just like, you love Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber's cool. I'm not in love with him, but he's cool. Um, not at all. 
Do you think, but do you think good you recognized your wrong, it's okay to recognize your wrongdoing? <laughs> but do you think that it was like wrong of me? Do you think I made a mistake? Like, should I call this guy up? Like, I don't know. You're not horrible. It just means you two weren't meant to be. That's all. That's true. You know, I guess like you do get like feelings of a person, you know, either good feelings or bad feelings. So I get that. And I feel like too, it's like intensity. So, so yeah. I am. Nice, Dave. Nice. Now he knows. Well, I don't mean, who knows if he's watching? I didn't say his name, so it could have been anyone. No, I didn't put my ear up to it. I, like, it was legit, like, super loud, and it was, like, gross. I was so grossed out. I was just, like, I can't look at him like a sexy guy anymore. I just look at him as, like, like it wasn't sexy. <laughs> you are right to stay away from that. <laughs> time hanging out I was like what's going on why is he so comfortable with me this is not okay <laughs> had to be too soon <laughs> at least people are saying that they want to meet me still so that's kind of funny for me I'm like okay <sighs> oh my god are you married no I didn't honest there was no smell there was no smell it was just noises and I just couldn't take it I couldn't take it I was like no it's like no I want to meet you oh my goodness you guys want to meet me I'm going going back back to Cali Cali <laughs> oh boy you sexy all the time you know I guess thank you for that I feel like our appearance is a great part I feel like all women and I told my friend this because I want to do a photo shoot with her I feel like it's a huge power as a woman to be sexy and all women should be sexy. And like, I even tell my mom, I'm like, you need to wear sexier clothes, mom, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. I think guys should try to be sexy too. You know, I think that's important. I always try to inspire, uh, guys that I date to, to, you know, spruce up their Instagram. You have to go through a few frogs to find a special someone. You need to find someone who you can con connect with on all levels, including the toilet issues. <laughs> yeah, I definitely do. I, I guess, like, one of my best friends, I, I won't say her name because she'll get so mad at me, but she was dating a guy, right? And she couldn't go, like, I think they were dating for a few months, and she couldn't go number two, like, with him in the house. She literally got herself so sick. We had to go to the emergency room, and it was this whole thing. She got, like, sepsis from holding it for so long. So I guess that's like a really bad thing too. Like, but I couldn't believe that. I remember I was at, I was with her in the emergency room cause she was having like the worst pains in her stomach and it was cause, cause of that. So which friend are you going to shoot with? Um, my friend Mamie who does the, I'm not going to shoot with her, but she's in California. She, um, we want to do a photo shoot for her, for her stuff. Hi everybody. And welcome. Um, her, she's the Akashic records reader and, um, I want her to do like a, a very like goddess like photo shoot. So she does, she has like this Akashic Records thing that's normally like really expensive. So she was looking for someone to trade with to do like a sexy goddess looking photo shoot. So I was like, I thought of you first because it honestly that out of all the healing things that I've done, my Akashic Records has helped me the most. Oh God, guys, if I fall, please don't. Oh my God. Can't get this up here. Oh my god, all right. I don't think this is a good place for the bags. Do you see me, guys? I'm trying to put all these bags up in my closet. I bought all these bags. This is a really nice one. It was a Ralph Lauren bag that I got at the thrift store for six bucks. And then I looked it up. It's like a $300 bag. Okay. I'm trying to get this in the closet. Okay. Into the closet you go. All right. there yay okay make sure I'm... okay I'm not gonna fall okay hi I can't wait to see your next movie me too guys everyone pray pray to god I booked that tv show and they don't switch the role to nudity like the last tv show I booked <laughs> it was so sad I was so excited guys when I went back to LA I got asked availability for a tv show which for me would have been like paid my life for the year you know and then they're like oh we switched the role to nudity and I was just like oh well I guess I'm gonna be broke that's okay 
I'll survive. Yeah, I'll hit you up for details about that in the stream. Not familiar. Okay, so Akashic Records. Amazing. So Akashic Records, for those of you who don't know, are your soul records, which um, are so interesting because you can find out where your soul... Oh, God, I need to do a phone call. I have to do a phone call. There's a lot of things I was supposed to do today. Um, that's amazing, Casey. Can you please heal my ability to book a TV show, please? Specifically an HBO one. Just, like, think of that. Everyone pray for HBO show for Lauren. <laughs> like, a lot of people pray for, like, love. They pray for money. I'm just like, just get me an acting job, guys. Please. Please. Um, okay. So I'm getting text messages. If any of my friends see me talking about this, it's not that I don't want to respond. It's that I am live with almost 500 people. And we are talking about the Akashic Records, which I'm going to have Mamie on my show. I think I'm going to do a live stream with her Friday. Why did they that after the role is booked? I can't. You know what I think it was? And they added another scene, too. I think they, like, saw my following and they were just like, this will be good if she's naked. That's what I think happened. But, I mean, I don't know. I do, like, I would do nudity, but if it was the right thing, you know, and it wasn't right. I didn't feel right for it. But I'm kind of, I was sad about it. All right, Akashic Records. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I want to put that energy out there of the sadness. <laughs> um, okay, so Akashic Records are your soul's history, right? So it's like a book. It's like this magical book out there recorded for all in the universe about where your soul came from, which is really cool. And um, we all have different places that we came from. So I think it's very interesting. Thank you, Corey. My period pyramid is in New Jersey. Healing, I go there on the weekends, so it heals me when I go there on the weekends. That's amazing, though. <laughs> I have, uh, I brought my rose quartz here for my dad, and I left that there for me. Uh, wish you all the best getting the part, Lauren. Thank you, guys. And it's so funny what we like, want in life. That's what I want. Hello, please name any one of your movies. Badland on Netflix, for anyone who has a Netflix account. Um, While I Got Wasted is on Amazon Prime. And Tubi for free right now if you want to watch While I Got Wasted. Lucky Number, Amazon Prime. Catskill Park, Amazon Prime. Um, What else? Oh, that's what I should do. I should talk about my movies on my new Amazon show. Oh, I'm so excited to do that. Thank you guys for reminding me. I have a bump on my head. I'm like, did I hit my head? You ever feel that? Like right here really hurts. What the hell happened? I hope I'm not dying. What the hell is this? Hmm. Not okay. Where is this from? I always get nervous. I'm like, what is going on with me? I'm like, what is going on? Uh, much love from Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, Africa. What's up, Africa? What is your age? 19 or 20? What movies have you been in? So if you want to see more of my movies, you can go to my IMDb page. I'm not selling movies right now. I'm just selling happiness. Um, but my movies often bring happiness, especially, I feel like Lucky Number was really funny. So I booked this movie, right? And I had to do this really funny, sexy scene, but it wasn't sexy. It was like a funny scene. So I had like a horse mask on and I was supposed to be doing like, you know, sexy things with this like celebrity guy. And he thought I was someone else, but it was like me in the horse mask who was like a groupie of him. And they're like, I didn't know who it was going to be. And I was just like, who am I going to be with, like, with this horse mask? And they didn't tell me until the day of shooting, okay? And can you guess who it was in, like, that I was, you know, I, there was no kissing, no nothing going on. It was just strictly comedy, and it was me and Method Man. Like, <laughs> and I was just thinking, like, out of all the people in, like, history for me to be doing a sexy, funny scene with, like, Method Man is really cool to be, like, there with, with my horse mask on. Um, and yeah, so we had all this funny stuff going on, and Method Man was so cool and so inspiring. I really, I really enjoyed doing that. Well, that's great. That's awesome, Casey. It's always good to take a little break in life, guys. I often take breaks. I do. What is this? See, I took a bunch of stuff out of the attic, and I don't even know what this... Oh, is this a dress? Oh, it's like a weird jumper. It's a weird jumper. That's interesting. You should come to Alabama so we can hang out. I would love to go to Alabama. I even say it with an accent. My dad's best friend is in Alabama. Um, PG-13. Yes. 
everything I do is PG-13. Why? People ask why. And I just, you know what I do? I, I feel like, I feel like a lot of my audience members, and I remember my childhood so much. And I would hate for any of the girls that look up to me to, to see me doing anything that I would physically, I would be uncomfortable with, you know? And a lot of things that are not PG-13, I'm very uncomfortable with. Like, I feel like there's a time and place for everything. And if, if something is me, like, you know, um, welcomed or means well, you get what I mean, right? I hope so. I love the movie Badland. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. And I hope when you guys leave reviews on these movies that you say nice things about me so these directors continue to cast me and stuff. Like, that's all I hope for. I'm like, I just want them to keep putting me in their movies. You know, that's a, honestly how I get most of my work. People are like, how are you an actor, Lauren? How do you get more acting work? And it is so hard. And honestly, you have to like know people. You really have to know people. And then you also have to like be okay with like the rejection. And when I mean rejection, can you imagine getting broken up with every single day? Like every single day, somebody like comes to you and they're like, okay, you know, well, I understand that like you really love me, but this just isn't right for, for me right now. And that's what it feels like when you don't book an acting job. So you value yourself. That's why you stuck. That's why you're stuck with PG-13. Yeah, it's, it's that. And also I really do value my viewers as well because I, I knew I looked up to a lot of actors and actresses in my life and all of those actors and actresses I looked up to have been people that are like really, really have great moral values. Like I really look up to Uma Thurman. I like love her so much. Thank you guys. My relatives is shooting movies like you. Al, you should tell them about me. Say, look, I follow this girl on the internet and she should be in your movies. You should cast her. <laughs> That's how I am gonna, you know, I got Badland from somebody who found me on my social media. I got Lucky Number from somebody who saw me. I met, actually I met them at a party and then they saw my social media. So a lot of my auditions, I wouldn't have booked if I didn't, um, if they didn't see me from the social media stuff. Louis C.K., his show, um, I think they, they, they booked me, I think, because of my followers, which was cool. Um, Roll and Tide. I don't know what that means, but okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to this awesome live stream of my messy childhood bedroom. It has been, I don't know, I clean it up and then it just gets messy again. It's kind of like life. My childhood bedroom symbolizes my life of like this constant mess. <laughs> constant mess. Get, um, keep your head up and give it to God. I always do. Uma Thurman's great. Good choice. I love her so much. I love her. And it was so cool when I got to interview Ethan Hawke because I always had a crush on Ethan Hawke and then they got married. But then to meet him, I was just like, she's fucking awesome. Like she, she has great taste. <laughs> Wonderful taste. Oh my goodness. Hello and welcome to this live. Somebody said, I am not net savvy. It's hard to be net savvy, guys. It really is because uh, the internet is constantly changing, right? But you know one thing I always think about? My, my, when my niece was six, I think she's like 10 now. So this is a while ago. She was on Musical.ly and she was understanding the app more than I was. And I was like, okay, okay. If my six-year-old niece can figure it out, like... So can I, so can you, so can we all. And that just that thought has helped me so much because whenever there's a new app or a new program I don't understand, I say to myself, there's some kid out there who has not even gone to high school yet and they can figure it out. So we can do it too. Somebody said, marry me, I love you. you guys keep asking me to marry you. I don't know, um, I don't know how to respond to that just because... I feel like marriage is a very serious thing, you know? I feel like you guys should take it much more serious than asking a random person like me on a live stream, a random actress that you know nothing about. Ooh, supplements, bracelets. I can't find my pretty bracelets that I love. Some makeup. Oh, I have a live stream at five today. What time is it yet, guys? What time does it, do you guys know what time is it? Hello, I love you, simpatica. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. I do have to start getting like pretty looking. I keep looking at myself thinking I need to shower and brush my hair. So don't judge me. Sometimes I just roll out of bed and just jump on live stream. 
hello my dream you don't know if i'm your dream woman and that's and that's the funny thing it's so that's what i find really funny in life is like you'll meet somebody and you connect with them on this like really really high level but then you automatically dismiss them because you feel like you feel like it's too easy but then you have this idea of like what's right and what's perfect from some random stranger you're watching on a facebook live stream and i just think it's so silly like, go out in real life, get on a dating site, find a real normal person. Like, that's what you guys should be doing. Yes, I'm finding water. I don't know where these water bottles came from, but I'm so thirsty. So hopefully they taste okay. Just hope they weren't in the attic for like five years. <laughs> I got thirsty from talking so much. Hi, good, from Zia and... U A E, nice. You will find the right person when the time comes. I know that's what my friend told me today. She's like, Lauren, these are gifts. I'm like what? I'm like my my last awful relationships, and she's like, yes, they're gifts. I'm like, how do you see them as gifts? I'm just like seeing them as heartbreaks. So I have to work on that, I guess. Love you, Lauren. Thank you. I love you too. Wow, it's 10 p.m. in Saudi Arabia. I love you. I love that. I love that I have people here from all over the world hanging out with me. It's like, it, I feel more cultured just with all of you guys. Cause I'm like, I'm learning so much about the different people's religions and, you know, thoughts, ideas about the universe. It's so cool to have friends from other countries. And I just wish, I really wish I could travel and meet everybody in all of these countries. Like that would be my dream guys to just to just get on a plane and just travel the world right now and not have to be in this room. And that's part of my problem. I like to run. I'm like, I'm like, okay, I can't deal with this mess right now. I'm just gonna go on a vacation. But vacations are real expensive. So if I book that TV show, if I book the TV show, I will be able to go. So guys, pray that I book a TV show, then I'll do a world tour. Got like, if we can travel, I will. You have the right person when is a good time, but I am here. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But guys, I told you, you have to go out and meet your own right person. I am a random girl on a live stream. And yes, I look very good on camera, but in real life, I'm just an average ordinary girl, you know? Love is just a word. Now, don't mean anything. Guys, how about you guys read read me some quotes? Let's do some motivational quotes for me right now to finish cleaning this room. How do you like that idea? I think that's a good idea. Like if you guys <laughs> gave me some quotes of like how to clean my room or that would be motivating for me. I would be like, yes, thank you for the motivational quotes. Oh boy, there's so much clothes. Somebody said, pick you up in my private jet. <laughs> see I don't like rich guys I like poor ones that's my problem I guess but <laughs> you don't need a private jet you just need a nice heart <laughs> close the closet and the mess goes away oh you haven't seen the floor Michael have you I, I wouldn't let Michael is really cool he's a nice viewer but you don't get to come up to my room unless I've known you for years like Car Carlos has seen my room Agnes has seen my room uh, my assistant Daniel has seen my room. Um, it just, it, it honestly, it depends on, on who, who I let inside the mess that is my bedroom. Even like guys I date, like I don't even let them see my childhood bedroom. It's so bad unless I'm dating you for a really long time. And then sometimes it even like, they'll see it and they'll be like, Oh no, Lauren, this isn't going to work. <laughs> but then if they really love you, like if they really love you, then, then, then they'll, then they'll stay. And then, they'll, you know, honestly, if they really love you, they'll help you clean it. That's what I've experienced. <laughs> some of the best, some of the best ex-boyfriends have helped me clean my room. <laughs> you are looking very nice. Why, thank you guys. We're just chilling here on this random day. And I was like showing you the mess that is the, the chairs I brought home. I don't know why I keep bringing chairs home. I have this obsession for, for vintage furniture. I don't know. Um, put it up in the suitcase and put it under the bed, throw it in the attic. I do. I have a suitcase of, oh my goodness. Oh boy. I'm getting text messages from an ex-boyfriend right now. Um, I made the mistake of asking him dating advice 
got very jealous. I wouldn't mind. Just keep your stuff. Where would I put it, Willow? Where do I put all this stuff? And he's texted me the most passive aggressive things. And I'm just looking at them like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, is this the best way to reach out to me? And that's exactly why I would never go back to him because he like texts me in these ways that like, just like drive me insane. Bring a boy to see the messy bedroom is Lauren's, that's Lauren's true relationship test. <laughs> It's like, do you really, are you really going to love me? <laughs> I love messes. I will help you clean it. Thank you. You're sweet. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> He's like, okay, but I want $20 an hour, Lauren. <laughs> Let's see. Socks. So many socks. You might run after seeing my house. <laughs> well, my house in California is really nice. I really like my California house. I miss it so much. That's why I feel like, I feel like so stressed here because there's just so much stuff. I just did too much shoppings. How many boyfriends did you have exactly? Um, well, I don't, they're not serious ones. They're not serious boyfriends. I hate when people judge you for having relationships. Don't judge me. Don't judge me for, for having, making bad decisions. <laughs> Actually, my friend was like, Lauren, you don't look at it as a bad, as a mistake or a bad decision. It was a gift. And I'm just like, how was this asshole a gift? You know, like, honestly, like looking back at like the ones that didn't work out, I'm just like, that was not a gift. I did not learn anything from that. I mean, I guess I learned stuff, but I don't know. Do you need all that stuff? Give it to charity. If not as people in rough time at the moment, I know. Oh, when they're gone. That's Lauren. I forget the name of that show, Stephen. That's a funny show. Free cleaning. Oh my goodness. Do we have to look? Can we live stream it? A laundry bag. Is this a laundry bag? Hello. Hi. Welcome to this episode of Lauren's Bedroom. Here on this episode of Lauren's Bedroom, we are going to clean us. What do you like to do on a date? Hmm. I really like to get to know the person. Like, I'm not that into watching a movie with them because I, I want to really be able to connect with them, especially on a first date. Oh, Steven said, I look at failed relationships as a learning experience. Well, that's a really positive way to look at things, Steven. <laughs> I'm not there yet. Maybe one day. What is this? Oh, this is a, from a brand. Lauren, thanks. Oh, this is from um, Diablo Verde. Really yummy brand. Mama's favorite vegetarian lunch. New girl. Yes, I am a new girl. How are you today, fine girl? You know, I'm sitting on the floor trying to find motivation. I was hoping people would send me cool quotes. Is the cool chick just an act? Ooh, you don't think I'm cool? I think I'm pretty cool. I definitely think I'm cool. That's a video idea. We could spoof the TV show. <laughs> All of a sudden, Steve comes in my room with like one of those things, like like inspecting it with the light, the, with that like, what is that called? A black light thing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm laughing at. I'm just here. I am from Bangladesh. Nice. Hello from... Bawarma. Where's Bawarma? That sounds so cool. I want to go there right now out of this hell that is my bedroom. I'm just going to sit here and cry. I can't do it anymore. It's just not getting clean. I try so hard and it doesn't work. So sad. How are you? I am. Keep Be strong. Keep fighting. <laughs> It is a fight, Abdullah. It is a fight. This cleanness has to, we have to fight to clean our rooms. So much stuff. So this was a bag of my mother's that I really liked. Hello, people. Welcome. Room Raiders. That's what it called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Room Raiders. You're too cool for school. Nice. You met your soul. Oh, thank you, Bob, for being a supporter. I don't know how to play pool, so I don't think I would meet my soulmate playing pool because I don't play pool. But maybe, I mean, we could do a whole series on me trying to, you know, go to the pool. Actually, is the pool hall even open? Like, is it? How do we do it? Today, I am too much happy. Well, I'm glad I can contribute to the happiness of today. I really am. I think she is real and knows how to come out of character. 
I am very, very real, except, and I'm real with my friends. I'm so cool with my friends. But when I fall in love with somebody, I am, and or when I'm auditioning, when I really want something, I become like this, I, I just become this nervous human being. I don't know what it is. And I try. And sometimes like when I don't think, when I think of like saying like, okay, this person isn't into me. And I kind of like let my like guard down. But when I really want something, I become a mess. So that's something I've been working on. And I don't recommend it because because of that, it, it stops you from really getting what you want. When your environment is clean, you feel happy, motivated, and healthy. Willow, that is beautiful. I like that one. That is a very, very good one. Okay. What time is it there? I think it's 2.30. Hi from the end of the world. Oh, I got this bag. This is like a, a $300 bag that I got at the thrift store. Another $5 one. Look, it came with the price tag. It was now $2.40. Isn't that cool? Cleaning and organizing is a practice, not a project. Oh, I like these, Willow. You're so good. Folks, I like. I give a bit of a funny hard time. We could do a series of everyone taking Lauren shopping and spending the day with her in return, buying her whatever she wants. Paul, that would be amazing, but I think my mother would have a heart attack. She would just be like, no, no more stuff. It would be really buying stuff to donate because right now she is so angry about all of my stuff. I love bags. This is no more bags for Lauren. I am done buying bags, all right? Even if it's a really nice bag, no more bags for me. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I just can't buy any more bags. No, Carlos, everything I do is family friendly. I do have a Patreon that I have more live stream content and you can be a supporter on here. And that really helps me. But everything I do is family friendly because I have fans that are eight years old, nine years old, 10 years old, and I want to be a good influence for people. And I don't believe I'm very moral. I don't believe in that. A clean room is a happy room. Oh boy, guys, starting to get, starting to get a little, little overwhelmed. But I like these quotes. Keep going. I am from India. Nice. I want to go there too. I want to, I really want to go to India and have some Saj Paneer. I love Saj Paneer. Favorite food. Lauren, actor, actresses do that all the time. You literally made for that show. Which show? Which show? The, the Room Raiders one where they go in my room with a, with a black light and see what's, <laughs> see how dirty it is. Plague, what the hell is behind me? Are these, oh, fish oil. All right, we're gonna go over what's on my dresser. We have a vitamin C with hydraulic acid serum, which ladies watching, I don't know if we have some ladies, but this is really good for your skin. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is good for everything. It's good for like all cell production and it especially it blocks cancer. So definitely should have vitamin C in your daily regimen all the time. I give it to my dog. Do you vlog much? I think like live streaming for me is like vlogging. I just, I hate editing. It would do, it would take so many hours of my life to edit. And then like, if I would pay an editor, I would never like it. It would be too much. So I like, I like live streaming. I can just talk to like, you know, 600 people at a time, ask them questions. I have nothing in your house to not know to be useful or believe beautiful. I like that. See, thank you, Willow. I'm going to continue doing this. And keep going. That is nice. You're okay there. Very nice. You know, I'm trying. I'm really trying to be a productive and motivated person. It's hard. Istanbul. What's up, Istanbul? I'm like reading wrong. Uh, don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. Oh, I love that one. Wow. That's a really good one. It's a really great one. Um, nice. I like vitamins. Vitamins are great. Vitamins are great. Oh, here's my, <laughs> I saved a bag from my London charity shops, my favorite <laughs> London charity shop bag. Cause I'm like, oh, this is from my charity shopping in London. I miss it so much. I want to go back. I definitely, I think like if I could travel right now, I would go back to London and visit my friends there. What's up, Mahakita? Um, if I had to go out of the country, actually, Canada is one of the first places I want to go because I have a lot of friends in Canada that I want to go see. And then I would go to London. And then I want to go to Italy, of course, because that's just like a dream to be to go to Italy. 
And I really want to go to Philippines and go to Boracay and just like go island hopping. That would be my thing for good. Yes, I feel like we should do like a world tour, guys. Like I should just bring everyone on a world tour. Lauren, did you do anything with your family on New Year's? Well, it was my mom's birthday. So I just uh, sang happy birthday to her. And my friend Carlos came over because his family is in Texas. So he was by himself. I am a dream to have you like my best friend and I am older experience in life where I can help you live life and government. I am working for her. That's so cool. Um, we can all be friends, just friends. Oh my goodness. I know every time I look at the news, they say the UK is so bad for the virus. It's so scary. And even California, they said like one in every 10 people in California has the coronavirus. Like what the hell is that? I had the doctor. I don't know if you guys saw it. I had like this emergency room doctor on and he was just, he was amazing. And it was just like really, really scary. So I guess I'm staying in New York longer. I guess the universe wants me to clean my childhood bedroom. That's what it wants. It's like, you must clean. You must clean your childhood bedroom. So I'm like, okay, that's what I'm doing. I'm cleaning the childhood bedroom. So many socks. What's up, India? How are you? <laughs> These are match socks. Oh, life. I thought you would be a good Nancy Drew, but they thought of it too. Yes, I would love to be Nancy Drew. That would be so much fun. Something about French men. Yes, I have a thing for guys from Montreal that are French, <laughs> French, French Canadians. <laughs> Definitely like French Canadians. Um, hello. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Five more there. I don't know. I'm just going through stuff, sitting through it all. Georgia. Yeah, I don't know. I remember the doctor stream. Yeah, he was really cool. He wants to come back on. We're going to do more with that doctor. Be like, you're our coronavirus expert. Lauren, what's your favorite uh, Elvis Presley song? I'm in love. I'm all shook up. That's my favorite Elvis song. I mean, there are so many great Elvis songs. He is the king. But that's, I guess, one of my favorite. Guys, what are your favorite Elvis songs? Making me feel old that I know Elvis. I just, I know Elvis because... Because he's dated Marilyn Monroe. Are you in New York now? I'm forever in New York. I feel like even when I'm not in New York, I'm in New York. It's like weird. It's like, it's like this is my air. It's so weird. It's like I love the air of New York. But for some reason, LA just keeps like pulling me there. It's like this huge magnet of like, you must go to LA. I'm like, I will go to LA. It's like so weird. Hello, are you okay? Sometimes. Hello, sunshine. Oh, nice. Nice. We can play hockey and go ice fishing. And you can give me that Canadian visa I need to audition for all the TV shows in Canada that I'd love to audition for. Hello. Welcome. Hi. What's up, John Valdez? Are you related to Daniel Valdez, my old assistant? <laughs> he was great. It's up to you to repopulate America after the virus. Oh my God, that sounds horrible. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds like the worst reason to have a child. <laughs> Be like, oh wow, I want to bring a child into this world? I don't know about that. <laughs> oh boy. I can't help falling in love with you. Oh, that's a good one. A hound dog. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time is that how, how it goes you ain't nothing but a hound dog how does the what do the lyrics go what your phone number why does my head hurt here that's really worrisome what happened did i do a headstand what the hell did i hit my head why my head has been hurting right here oh my crown chakra what happened what happened stop it that does too intense. I know life can be so intense sometimes, right? So intense. Love the bracelet. Thank you. It's not, it's not my, um, it's, they're not my Reiki but bracelets that the four of fire girls gave me, but they're other bracelets I really like. I don't know where my bracelets went, guys. I took them off at some point and I just don't know. My dad loves to like organize things and just, he does. And then I can't find them ever. It's really awful. Hello. How are you? Hello. <laughs> from the other side. <laughs> I'm good. I'm just, you know, putting stuff away into, into where yellow submarine. Oh, that's a good one. Do I want to rewash this? Like, 
stuff I had organized to bring to New Jersey. Lots of stuff. <laughs> Hope you are well and safe. I try to be well and safe. I really do. And I try to. Just so many looks. I know. So much. My favorite boots. These are the best purchase of uh, 2020. <laughs> my TJ Maxx rain boots. I like them so much I bought two pairs. <laughs> Guys, you ever, ever have something that you really like so much? Oh, God. Don't be gross. You get blocked. If you talk about any of my body parts, you get blocked. That's what we do on here. Lauren. Thank you, guys. We have so many people watching today. Guys, what's going on today? I feel like no one wants to watch the news. So they're all watching my live stream. <laughs> like, we have so many friends. Yay! So excited. And I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, and I think I like it. I'm from New York, Lieza. New York City. Welcome to New York City. Um, ciao, Bella. Hello. Just hanging out here. You are funny, cute, open-minded, beautiful, natural personality. I love it. I love your style. You know what something else people say about me? I'm very down-to-earth. And I think that's really important when finding somebody to be with. Because you want somebody who um, is grounded. Love you, sweet Lauren. There, me, and e, my... Okay, are you... Cheryl? Thank you, Cheryl. Where is the sofa you are selling? <laughs> They're right behind me. $1,000 for my sofa. Who wants my sofa? I don't understand this. Exciting news today. What's the exciting news, Brian? I have no idea. I'm on this weird bubble where I just live stream all day. I have no idea what's going on in the world. All right, St uh, Stephas, we bl block people who talk bad. So, sorry. Goodbye. Goodbye. Da -na 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 do you know that song? Guys, how does the, the lyrics go? From the Beauty and the Beast. That's what I feel like singing right now. Beauty and the Beast. Hi, love from India. Please take me to India. Take me to India. <laughs> Come, Darwin, so I'll date you or give me your number. I'm supposed to be pretty and sexy. It's supposed to be pretty and sexy all the time. Really? I don't believe you can be pretty and sexy all the time. I mean, maybe. 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 Hey, Cheryl. I have so many gifts downstairs to open a, a box. I should have opened some today. I didn't. And it was really sweet. Somebody called my mom yesterday and was like, I have gifts for Lauren. I thought that was awesome. Being silly is an endearing trait. Thank you. I try. Is your mom mad about her hair? No, she's mad about the furniture I keep bringing home. I have this obsessive, compulsive uh, shopping thing in my bones uh, that I can't get rid of. It's really hard. Da -na 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 Yes. Yes. They're taking over the Capitol. Who? The protesters and everything. What do you mean they're taking over the Capitol? Very bad. Very bad. What do you mean? The protesters. They're supposed to be peaceful, and then they're all. It looks very bad. So what? So what? You don't think I should be live streaming? I don't know. This is scary. Scary. All right. So apparently my mom has um, made it aware that there's some crazy things going on. Um, happy to be inside. I don't know what's going on. I guess I have to look at the news. Yeah, she, you, you should come down and watch it. Oh, boy. My dad says I should come down and watch the news. Do you guys want to do that? Hi from Scotland. All right. I guess we're going to go see what's going on in the world. Just giving you guys a lot of peace and, and love right now. Um, I don't like getting political, nor do I like thinking about politics. But sometimes 
especially in this day and age. It's like you can't help but think of politics because it's just there and it just makes me want to cry right now because I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to think about it. I don't like it. It's a stage thing, believe that. I hope so. I hope it's a stage thing. It just gets me scared. Okay, not gonna cry. Not gonna cry. Lauren, don't cry. Don't cry. I cry very easily, guys. Abdullah said he's watching it. Okay, Abdullah is our new correspondent. He will give us a play-by-play -play of what's going on. I do not want to watch it. Okay. All right. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to contribute um, more energy to what that is. It's hard to find. It always plays on people's minds. Keep your heart beating as strong, and I'm sure that's beautiful. I like that. I really like that. <sighs> Oh boy, I don't know what's going on. Prayers for you and your family, love to all. Yes, I agree. Thank you, Bob, for being a supporter, guys. Thank you guys for being supporters on here. Cause everyone's like, what do you do for money? Like how do you just live stream all the time? And it is rough, it gets rough. And honestly, my main goal is acting. That is my main thing. But because of my strong moral thing, sometimes I have to turn jobs down. So that's what sucks. Because I could have, like, if I would have said yes to that other job, I would just be fine. I wouldn't have to work all year. So, but I did not want my breasts living on the on the TV forever. A lot of times they objectify women and it's not okay. And, and I'm not going to sell my body to be on a TV show. So, there we go. That's how I feel about it. Everything is planned already, Lauren. Don't worry. Okay. I watched earlier crazy, but you're safe, so not to worry. Yes, I don't want to be involved. I think my parents are getting stressed out by it. They're definitely not going to let me leave the house now. Like, I am a grown adult. I want to go out. I want to go home. Let me go back to California, please. Where I can sit by my pool <laughs> and live stream. That's all I like. Just sitting by my pool and live streaming. It isn't anyone's business anyway how you make your... What the hell is that noise? Good for you. You also got to be wary about predatory filming conditions if you go... Or pro yeah, it was a real TV show, Stephen. A big TV show, Stephen. A really big TV show, Stephen. But, yeah. It's one of those things that I, like, think about, you know? Because I'm just like, why do I have morals? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I wish I didn't have morals. Why do they get in the way all the time? <sighs> I wish I could just like slide into the bed of clothes. Be like, yes. All right. Okay. More bags. Oh boy. Hi guys. You see me still? Hello. And this I'm going to make Belle my wife. Da -na 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 Be safe out there. I'm trying to. Da -na 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 -na. I love that I could just like do my laundry, fold my clothes, sing Disney songs, and I have like seven hundred people here watching me just like float around my bedroom, my childhood bedroom. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Oh, what's Lauren doing? She's pretending to be a Disney character while cleaning her childhood bedroom, lost in some kind of, like, imaginary... I feel like I'm lost in this weird, like, imaginary world. Like, I don't know what happened. Like, this is, like, some nightmare of, <laughs> of normal reality where it's like, I've gone back to my childhood. I have no job. But there's 800 random people online that are going to watch me, like fold my underwear like 
I miss the lemon tree. I miss my lemon trees too. One of them died. It was really sad. So sad when the lemon tree died. So sad. So sad. But yeah, so this is what I'm doing with my life. Everyone's like, Lauren, so did you ever go to medical school, Lauren? What are you doing? Like, the acting and stuff? What's the last project you did? Well, I did a very, very serious episode of Clean My Room with Lauren. It was very awesome. We sat, we sang Disney songs. I stored bags in my closet, sold posters of my old comic book that I did years upon years ago, selling posters. If you want one of these posters, email me, goddessacomedy at gmail.com. I will sign it and you can hang it on your wall. So they're from Zenoscope. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just here. I'm just here. Video popped up asking, why is your mom angry with you? Oh, uh, if you just coming in and you didn't see the beginning of my video i was shopping on uh, facebook marketplace and my mother she she got very upset because i had michael one of my viewers come and give me the most beautiful chair and uh it was an ot ottoman and uh he just left it on the doorstep and my mother was very my mom was very angry she's very very upset with me so guys should i talk with a british accent will that make me more posh sexier for you can you I miss elementary too. My OG plan was to grab a bunch every time I visited. Oh, well, you could you could go there now if you're in LA. Take my lemons, why don't you? Just take my lemons. I think that's one of the best things, um, guys, having fruit trees in your backyard. It's definitely one of the most amazing things ever. I feel like if I talk like this, that I will get more viewers in here because they're like, oh, she's different. She has a British accent. We want to follow her. We want to... Be a part of her life. Do a fashion show with your mom's clothes. I'd love that one day. Actually, no, I don't. I don't know. I see the numbers dropping. I'm like, okay, I'll talk with my regular New York accent, or I can talk like an LA accent. I, I think LA girl is definitely more interesting. They're like, yes, she's from California. I'm like, no, I'm from New York. <laughs> like, not interesting. Amazing posters. Hello, welcome. London is common. What do you mean it's common? London's great. I guess, like, we all want what we don't have. The grass is always greener, right? I really believe that. I really believe that. I always wanted curly hair. And all my best friends, they would always flat iron their hair. My best friend, Jessica, she freaking spends, like, three hours flat ironing her hair. I'm like, girl, I spend three hours curling my hair. Why is that? Why is that? I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, thank you, Mahakita. I would like a poster. Goddessacomedy at gmail.com. Email me if you want to buy a poster. I'm selling them. Uh, they are actually uh, Zenoscopes. And I have to give them part of the proceeds. So I have to sell them. But I guess they had a lot of them in stock from when we did our comic book together. I don't think they have any more comic books. Which that's what I thought they had. I was like, I want to sell comic books. It's so cool that I had one. Um, so, so yeah. Oh, Lauren, add me on Facebook. Well, I'm not adding people because sometimes you add strangers and they're doing, you just can't control what they're going to say or do. You know, it can be scary. Stranger danger. So we don't add strangers on here. We don't do it for the safety of the viewers. Hello, Lauren. Are you working out every day? I do on my Patreon. If you want to watch, you want to be a supporter on here or join my Patreon so you can see my workouts. You got curly hair. See, we all want what we don't have. I wish I had curly hair. It's one of my wishes in life. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody said I have an amazing body. You know what? I believe because of dancing. I danced ballet for about 14 years. And I really feel that training your muscles at an early age, like for ballet dancers, they have like really long muscles, like a lot of it was like resistance, uh, resistance training your muscles to have like slow, have slow growth of muscle mass that were like long lean muscles really helped. So 
That's my advice for any women wanting to get into shape. It's, it's that kind of fitness. It's that kind of working out. Running makes you bulky and other kinds of cardio like yoga is really great. Pilates is amazing because it's all like resistance and it's like long lean muscles and your body will remember how, how the muscles form. So that's another great thing about being a ballet dancer is that my body has this amazing muscle memory of like, I could get out of shape, but then I'll work out. And then it comes back from how I trained. I trained for years and years and years. Okay. You're getting blocked. You're getting blocked. Disgusting comments get blocked. Sorry guys. Sorry. I don't understand. I just don't get it. I don't understand why people talk to women like that. Hello, Lauren. I'm watching while working from home. What are you doing? Thank you for being my supporter. I appreciate it. Yes, guys, you can all join and be supporters on here. I think it's like $5 or something, and I do extra videos and stuff, and it's just fun to have friends. You know, I really enjoy having friends on here. That's all. I really like it. Oh, my goodness. Some gross people. Don't be gross people. Be nice people. Can you please? Guys, know that my parents watch all of these live streams as well as my nieces and nephews and family members. I don't have any nephews. I don't know why I said that. But just know I have people who are watching. So don't be gross, <laughs> you know. Um, a mullet haircut saved me for a while. That's great. I thought I blocked you. Well, I don't know why you're still here. Wait, hold on. Hold on, somebody's, I have to block someone. Okay, he's gone. He's gone. Thank God. Hate gross people. Hate gross people. Hello, what's up, Turkey? How are you? It's so good to see you. You're adorable, honey. Thank you, I try, I guess. I don't know. Just here. Just here, organizing clothes. You know, that's what I do every day. Is organize my clothes. Da -na 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 Bill Hill said, I bet you, I bet all kinds of guys will take you in their house. I mean, yes, but not the ones I want. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Um, why is my mom angry? Because I keep bringing clothes home. That's why. I just was like paused for a second. It was really weird. I think it was like the universe. They're like, oh, wait. She's doing something again. Let's record her. Let's see what this woman is doing. They're like, <laughs> it's like, they're like, what can we recommend as ads next to her videos? Okay, people will buy these things. Aaliyah said, what happened? I don't know, Aaliyah. I have no idea. Just one day I woke up and, and I was in my parents' house and like, like I had gone back in a time machine to my high school years that I missed out on. <laughs> Oh, boy. Hi from Ireland. I know, I'm not watching any of that on the news right now. My parents are freaking out. They're like, Lauren, there's stuff going on. I'm like, I don't want to watch it. I don't want it to go on. I don't want to know about it. Some men don't know any better. Yes, this is true, right? This is true, Larry. I don't understand what it is. I have such, I have such horrible, horrible relationship luck. But... It's fine. You want to know why it's fine? Because I'm hanging out with you guys. I have you. I got you. Since we can't play music, I'm just going to sing. I don't know why sometimes. <laughs> They're like, what is she doing now? She's like singing and dancing. and Oh, I feel like, I feel like we should light some incense. I feel like we should do... Sometimes I get frightened. <laughs> See my eyes and tell me I'm not lying. All right, here, guys. We're going to find some incense. Where did the garbage bag go that I had? I was throwing stuff out in. Dun, dun, dun. You should take some belly. I, did, I have taken belly dance classes. Belly dancing is actually a huge workout. You marry me. My mom is. My mom's freaking out. I don't want to think about it. Where did my. Where's my incense? I wanted to light. 
Um, hello, Lois, how are you? You marrying me. I don't know about that one. I don't know about it. <laughs> I feel like we'd have to get to know each other better, you know. I feel like my parents would definitely have to approve. I'm not even gonna, I can't even entertain that seriously, guys. We don't know me. You don't know me. I'm not just one of your little toys. You don't know me. Did I bring my incense to LA? And don't tell me what to say. And don't tell me what to do. Dun -dun. What's up, Sharma? Am I saying that right? Live my life. That's all I am for you. I'm young. Hello. I don't know what I'm doing. Just like babbling on. Like, let's just babble on, guys. Babylon. Dun, dun. Oh man, kindly respect Lauren. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being kind and respectful to me, guys. I appreciate you all. Trying to find the interestingness of my books. So many interesting books everywhere. So many books. Where are the books that I need, though? Isn't that funny? Okay, I don't think I have any of my incense. Oh, wait, what is that? No, that's not it. <sighs> I'd offer too old. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I want in my life, guys. I'm kind of confused. I'm in London watching you. Thank you. Looks like we don't have any more incense. Looks like we brought it to California. Throwing ideas out. I got the vibe. Here, should we do the... Should we do your... I have the, your your uh, bath bomb. <laughs> it's right behind me, Casey. I, I, I'm planning to do it soon. Maybe I should clean the area where I think the incense is. It's bad. First change your cute to prince dress. That would be fun. You watched for about a year. You watched me for about a whole year? That's so cool. Every day? Every day is Lauren Day? That's cool. You're wonderful, even in the absence of makeup. I appreciate that. I do. I appreciate that you think I'm wonderful. Hello. Somebody said, come to Jesus. I feel like I'm at Jesus. I'm with Jesus already. We're all with Jesus. Jesus loves us all, right? Dando something, something. Let's get out of that room. I'm young. And I want to be young. Dun, dun. What should we sing together, guys? What's up, Daniel? Welcome to the bedroom. Where we organize our stuff. Um... You're wonderful. I just keep seeing that comment. You're wonderful in the absence of makeup. That's what I want to do. I want to go through old hard drives. Oh, my old phone. So cool. Okay, I need that. Oh, wait, no, it's just the case. Where is the phone, guys? Where is the phone? Ugh, it's hard. Cleaning is hard. Cleaning is a lot of work. But isn't it great that I can hang out with you guys and just fix my life? I feel like you guys are like forcing me to fix my life. You're like, okay, girl, we believe that you can clean up this room. And even though I'm not so sure I can do it, 646 people are willing to see me try or fail or, you know, you know what I mean. You get it. You get what I'm trying to say, right? You marry me, Lauren. Oh my goodness. I wish, I wish, I wish somebody that I actually knew, liked, and loved would ask me that question. <laughs> Not some stranger that's never met me on the internet, has no idea.